Today on Perpetual Projects, we are gonna install a used gooseneck hitch in our first gen Dodge work truck. So originally I was gonna build my own turnover ball for this, but it's just not in the cards. We don't have time and we got this one. Um, this came out of a pickup box that my dad bought and it's a pretty cool one. The only thing I don't like about it is the fact that you have to cut a big enough hole in the bed to be able to access the whole mechanism, but it's hideaway and it works. So that's what we're gonna use. The reason that we're installing the gooseneck ball in our truck is so we can get our new trailer home because right now we have no way to haul it. The first thing we have to do is we have to get this bed off here and you can just lift the back of the bed up, but we've got some old accoutrements on the frame that are still there. We're gonna go ahead and take this off so we can get rid of that stuff. Uh, some of it's welded, some of it's bolted, but we wanna get all that off the frame and out of the way so we have a clean space to mount our hitch. So they built this nifty contraption for taking off beds and it's just a bunch of, is that just square tubing, right? Just square tubing. And basically you loosen up this bolt here and it allows this piece that goes along here to slide. And then those hook up underneath the rim of the bed and it lifts it off. So the nice part about putting the engine leveler on here is if you don't get it picked centered, you can center it after it's got weight on it. it makes it a lot easier. Go up! So here's the remnants of an old, uh, this truck apparently at some point in its life had a fifth wheel plate back here. So this is what we got to get rid of. Uh, I, I mean, they're probably not hurting anything, but I don't like the airline for the airbags running through there. I've already had to splice it once where it was rubbing on stuff. So we're going to fix the airbags and fix the spare tire carrier because this doesn't turn once it's installed in the box because somebody welded in a universal joint, but it's rusty. Um, probably go ahead and pressure wash it since we got access to all this and then uh, we are going to have to move the airbags out and then readjust everything because the fifth wheel plates or the gooseneck plates going to go right here well it's uh seven and a half hours later i really am not sure what happened why i don't i don't know where all the time went i can show you what we got done uh we got our plate bolted in. We got our airbags remounted. We did move them down a little bit because there wasn't, they were pretty stretched out. So uh, we just used the bolts that were in this whenever it was installed on the last vehicle. It uh, seemed to do fine there. It'll do fine here. Uh, got the airbags. I replumbed the airbags with new lines because they were leaking before. Um, I went ahead and I covered them in split loom because you can't not touch the frame with them and they rub frame rub rubs holes in that plastic so it should last a little longer this way uh the big thing that probably took the longest is the wiring so uh i have a phillips clearview junction box that i i use whenever i'm doing a wiring job like this it just makes it easier uh we'll throw a link in the description but they're they're awesome because so once you put this top on this is fairly water tight and I mean it doesn't have an actual seal but it will pretty much keep the the water and the dust out of there and then if you ever have problems you have you know where all of your connections are at and they're all bolted connections not a bunch of you know butt connectors and scotch locks and everything else that you see on trailers so that's my favorite way to do it um, and I, I don't mind using the crimp connectors in that box because there's no tension. Everything is, I, you can see I, I wrap tape around the end of these pigtails where they go in so they, there's no tension on any of those wires. They're just in there and they won't get corrosion because it'll stay dry in there and they shouldn't have any chemicals or anything on them. So if you wanted to, you could use uh, shrink wrap connectors or even solder and heat shrink or you know whatever you want to whatever you want to do but i'm comfortable with the the crimp connectors in that situation but yeah we got our new wire so we can run our plug inside for our our gooseneck ball uh after we get this done we are going to drill a couple holes and drop a u-bolt in here for safety chains i guess 
this didn't have safety chains on the last vehicles installed on but i want them so got it all cleaned up and i mean it turned out really good i'm really happy with it got our spare tire uh jack or uh i don't know a little cable lowering thing fixed um, and figured out what tool we need to actually use it so that's good uh but yeah we're gonna go ahead and set the bed back on here get it all shimmed um i didn't intend for this to be a how-to it's kind of just a how we did and you know what we did and uh the struggles this, yeah this, the struggles were real today <laughs> uh i i really wanted to have this done four hours ago i didn't think it was going to take anywhere near this long we did have to drill some holes in the frame um and we had to obviously redo the, the airbag mounts so maybe that I don't, I don't know i don't know where the time went we've been working on it me and my dad together have been working on this for seven and a half hours and this is as far as we've got so we're gonna go eat dinner and when we come back we're gonna throw the bed back on it we'll show you what it looks like when it's all done after we cut the hole out in the middle we have a gooseneck hitch so if you look right in here uh obviously we have a trailer hooked up to it right now um we just used it to tow it over here it worked perfectly um all i did to get that hole cut out is before i put the bed back on i fixed or i picked something the bumper that was going to be in the same place after the bed was on there so i could measure to figure out where to cut my hole out and then i cut it a little bit bigger than i needed to i just wanted to make sure i had plenty of clearance and that plate is big enough that i knew it would cover it so the only thing we left now is when we get some u-bolts we'll put one u-bolt here and one u-bolt equally spaced on the other side just so you can pick them up and hook your safety chain which isn't even installed on the trailer right now but and then if you look right over here you can see this is where i put my receptacle for my trailer plug which obviously isn't installed on the trailer yet but we're getting ready to do a bunch of work to this trailer and that's going to be a whole separate video so check that one out now you kind of know the steps and if you want to do one yourself you can kind of see what we did and there's going to be different stuff on yours yours is going to have different bolt holes probably and your bed's going to bolt on different so that's why we didn't do a how-to video this is just a this is how we did it and this is the steps you need to take if you like that kind of stuff subscribe we do this kind of stuff all the time different stuff using stuff that we find laying around a lot of times on on the, the ground at my dad's house and uh make it work for what we need so we can add capability and do the things that we want to do see you soon